Swimbait79 here. Today I'm going to show you guys how I modify the owner flashy swimmer hook so it does not fail like it does straight out of the package, especially after you uh, hit a few docks with it or you simply catch a few fish with it. This is the way it comes standard out of the package with a wire. That wire is known to fail. So today I'm going to show you guys how I modify that. You will simply need a pair of side cutters or snips and you will need a pair of split ring pliers. So let's get started. So simply you take this out of the package. This is how it comes. You're going to want to cut this wire off with the snips. Watch out for shrapnel. So put your hand over it or a towel. Cover it. There we go. So now you have the blade and you have the big hook with the eye on the bottom where you are going to hook up the new stuff. So you take this, you can utilize the old blade that comes with it or you can uh, upgrade the blade just a little bit. I try not to go exceed the size of a three and a half willow size blade. Uh, you're going to simply need a piece from a old spinner bait. This little barrel swivel looking thing is what you need from a old spinner bait. Or you can probably go find them online, order a pack of them. I use a owner hyperwire split rings number four. So I'm gonna connect like four of those to or three of those together. And then one on the other side of the little part that you stole from the spinner bait. So you got three on one side and one on the other side. And the one with the one, you're gonna put, attach the blade to it. This is an old spinner bait blade. So overall, it will look like this. You take this, grab your split ring pliers, open that up, and get ready to toss that onto the bottom of the hook where the little eyelet is. There you go, just like that. Now that is modified and that will take a beating that will not fail, it has not failed me yet. The hook will get rusty more before anything. The center, center ring pin will fail after a few fish. So I usually try to keep a package of extra spares, which you can order from Bass Pro Shop. They're just, uh, I think they're called center, center pin push ring keepers, something like that. <laughs> anyway, this is the most important part. You take your 7.8 Kitek, you push that in the nose of the bait, till it stops and then you want to spin that but you want to put that on there as straight as possible if it's not straight you're going to have problems i try to race it up there as as far as it'll go as you can see it's pretty far up onto the bait i simply measure it with my thumb where the back of the hook comes and this is the most important part to get it to come up straight through the bait. If it doesn't, it will not track straight back to the boat. It will blow out, fall over. It won't have the right head shakes. You won't get bit. So that right there is a final modified magnum size underspin. I fish a Kitek 7.8 inch bait on there. It flat out gets bit. The two colors that I prefer to use on clear water, on sunny days, I like to use the electric shad. It's very natural looking. When it's cloudy, spitting rain, lots of wind, I use the sexy shad. Those are my two favorite colors. But yes, there you go. You have that right there. And this is one heck of a bait now when you store it on your rod and reel you got to take it take this hook off of it you got to leave it just like this a hook hook this hook onto your little keeper for your rod 
just have this bait dangling. If you do not, this hook will rust because the amount of salt that they put into these Kitex. And it might even rust out your, your other bait. These are, this is an older hook that I use and it's already all rusted up. The center ring spin thing is uh, starting to get torn up. It will fail after a few fish. So anyway, that's my idea of modifying this bait to make it last better, last longer. Let me know what you guys think. You could try this with any of the sizes, all different sizes of owner flashy swimmer. From one aught all the way up to 12 aught, three quarter ounce. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, and if you want more content, please uh, think about subscribing. Thank you for watching.